To improve your force feedback in BeamNG Drive, you need to work with two main settings, strength and smoothing. To understand these settings, you need to first open up the force feedback curve UI app. Press escape, go into UI apps, add app, now search FFB. You will see the force feedback graph right here, just click on that, and then place this where it's visible. Now go back and you will see your force feedback graph. Turn off inputs right here because you only need to think about the force. And as you can see here, the force feedback is this red line. Now if you start driving, for which I recommend going to green Grid map V2 to these suspension areas. Start driving along these bumpy roads, and up here will be your force feedback strength. Keep in mind that if your force feedback reaches all the way to the maximum, it is clipping. I'll put up on screen an explanation of what that means. But anyways, to tune your force feedback on the fly, simply press escape, go into options, controls, search FFB, and here you will see settings for the strength and the smoothing. Simply bind a key to each of these so you can adjust the force feedback on the go. And as you're driving along these bumpy roads, simply increase the force feedback until the point of clipping. Right now I have it set correctly, but if I were to have the force feedback set way too low, something like 50 right here, the signal would look like this. See, I'm driving driving over this extremely bumpy road and the force feedback is barely doing anything. On the other hand, if you have your force feedback somewhere way too high, like a thousand, as you can see the force feedback output right now is way too strong. So simply find a middle ground for your wheelbase. Unfortunately, there is no one number that I can give you because this will depend on your wheelbase and I am using the Moza R9. However, if you're using a higher powered wheelbase, you might want to have the force feedback strength set lower. And at the same time, if you're using a lower powered wheelbase, you might want to increase the force feedback strength more. But basically the way to figure this out is to increase or decrease the force feedback strength until the point of clipping. For example, for me, I have the strength at 250 and as you can see, the wheelbase is producing a lot of force feedback but it's not going into the maximum and therefore it is not clipping. Now that you've got the strength out of the way, it is time to consider the smoothing. First of all, set the smoothing pretty low, let's set it to 10 and now when you drive, you will see in the force feedback signal as you turn, it is looking very grainy and noisy and this is exactly what you want to avoid. Therefore, I recommend setting the smoothing really low and then slowly and gradually increasing it until you see the noise go away. Once you've removed that noise from the force feedback curve, don't set the smoothing any higher because you don't want to lose any details in the feedback. So for me, a value of 70 works really well, but again, this depends greatly on your wheelbase. Now that you have found your ideal force feedback strength and smoothing settings, press escape, options, controls, force feedback, click on your wheelbase, and then right here you will see the force feedback configuration. Simply set it to the correct amount, for me it's 250 and 70 for the smoothing, and then click apply. Now you have saved your perfect force feedback settings.